So what exactly is a GIS? Is it computer software? Is it a collection of computer hardware? Is it a service that is distributed and accessed via the internet? Is it a tool? Is it a system? Is it a science? The answer to all these questions is, GIS is all of the above and more. From a software perspective, a GIS consists of a special type of computer program capable of storing, editing, processing, and presenting geographic data and information as maps. There are several GIS software providers, such as Environmental Systems, Research Institute, Inc., which distributes ArchGIS, and Pitney Bowes, which distributes MapInfo GIS. Though online mapping services and interfaces are provided by companies like Google, Yahoo, and Microsoft, such services are not, yet, considered fully-fledged GIS platforms. There are also open-source GIS options, such as GRASS, which is freely distributed and maintained by the open-source community. All GIS software, regardless of vendor, consists of a database management system that is capable of handling and integrating two types of data, spatial data and attribute data. Spatial data refer to the real-world geographic objects of interest, such as streets, buildings, lakes, and countries, and their respective locations. In addition to location, each of these objects also possesses certain traits of interest or attributes, such as a name, number of stories, depth, or population. GIS software keeps track of both the spatial and attribute data and permits us to link the two types of data together to create information and facilitate analysis. One popular way to describe and visualize a GIS is by picturing it as a cake with many layers. Each layer of the cake represents a different geographic theme, such as water features, buildings, and roads, and each layer is stacked one on top of another. See figure 1.8, a GIS is a layered cake. As hardware, a GIS consists of a computer, memory, storage devices, scanners, printers, global positioning system, GPS, units, and other physical components. If the computer is situated on a network, the network can also be considered an integral component of the GIS because it enables us to share data and information that the GIS uses as inputs and creates as outputs. As a tool, a GIS permits us to maintain, analyze, and share a wealth of data and information. From the relatively simple task of mapping the path of a hurricane to the more complex task of determining the most efficient garbage collection routes in a city, a GIS is used across the public and private sectors. Online and mobile mapping, navigation, and location-based services are also personalizing and democratizing GIS by bringing maps and mapping to the masses. These are just a few definitions of AGIS. Like several of the geographic concepts discussed previously, there is no single or universally accepted definition of AGIS. There are probably just as many definitions of GIS as there are people who use GIS. In this regard, it is people like you who are learning, applying, developing, and studying GIS in new and compelling ways that unify it.